What's up everybody? Jay Stingray back here on the House of Horror. Got another review for you today. This is Pumpkinhead 4 Blood Feud from 2007 and I have to admit I was not that excited about watching this movie but I gotta say I enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, I, I like this uh, a lot more than the third installment uh, in the Pumpkinhead series. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed this quite a bit. I'd recommend it to you guys. It's uh, this I think it was probably filmed right after the third film was uh, was filmed, mainly because all the makeup on uh, the characters looks exactly the same. Pumpkinhead uh, creature looks exactly the same. But uh, 2007, you know, maybe it came out a year or two after the uh, third film. But directed by Michael Hurst, and it stars Bob Gunter as Pumpkinhead. Stars. Uh, Amy Manson, Bradley Taylor, and Claire Lambs, and this is, uh, um, the film starts out with, uh, some, some really cool, uh, killing someone summons Pumpkinhead, and, uh, you know, Pumpkinhead kills a few folks, and, uh, lots of gore, lots of cool, uh, uh creature effects in there, and, uh, and then the film opens up, and it's, w what it is, it's a, uh, a Hatfields and McCoys uh, situation. Uh, literally, that's the people's names. I don't know why they probably should have chosen some different names. Maybe have gone a little bit more original, but uh, they're the Hatfields and McCoys, obviously feuding families, and uh, a uh, I forget which family they're they're from. Let's see, uh, the uh, there's a, a young lady from the Hatfields who's in love with a. Uh, the guy from the McCoys, it's uh, Jody Hatfield's in love with uh, Ricky McCoy, and uh, obviously the families hate each other. They don't want these kids to date, and uh, the the brothers of the Hatfields go off, and they're gonna. Uh, I don't know if they plan to kill this uh, McCoy boy or whatever, but they go off, and uh, you know all of that, and in the midst of that, they they accidentally kill the guy's little sister, the. Uh, the McCoy's uh, little sister, and of course that you know it pisses Ricky off, and then he comes across uh, Haggis, the same witch. She's in the same makeup as the other movie. Of course, the makeup looks really good. You know, I think that's a really well done part, and uh, basically summons Pumpkinhead to go off and kill all of these uh, these Hatfields who who killed his little sister and. Uh, so that that he can be together with Jody Hatfield, um, you know they can you know they're in love whatever they want to be together. Uh, yeah, very very uh, you know not not an original storyline there, but but it uh, you know gets really cool because like you know Pumpkinhead comes out and he just he's slaughtering shitloads of these dudes and that's you know it's lots of gore you know lots of uh, creature effects and that's exactly what I want out of a film like this. So. Um, you know, I would say check it out, but uh, I know the third film I said had a ton of CGI in it that, that that really took me out of the film. This film did not. It was all I think all uh, practical effects, which was a positive, big positive note in my book. You know, while they may not look as good as they did in the first film, they uh, they looked okay. They were very passable. All the gore effects uh, were you know were passable. I wouldn't say they were amazing, but you know, lots of cool. Uh, you know, somewhat original kills in there, you know, that I, you know, really enjoyed. But, um, yeah, Lance Henderson does have a small role in this film as well. He, uh, I don't really know why he's even there, but he's at the witch's, oh, he's a good, he's like a ghost type figure in this film, and he's also, you know, plays a role at the, uh, the witch's house. Um, and it's weird because he just, like, it's like they just told him to show up, you know, and he just wore whatever he was wearing that day because it's like wearing his normal getup, like he had his dangly earring kicking, and he's like wearing this like puffy hippie shirt. It just looked like he walked out of, you know, a, a '70s movie or something, and that's that's how he really dresses when I've, you know, seen him at at conventions and stuff. So he just looked like he just showed up and uh, was just kicking it over there, but. Um, of course, he's good as always, you know. By far the you know best actor in the film is Lance Henderson. You know, I wish he had a bigger role. Uh, obviously, just a name draw in this film, but um, yeah, great, great gore in this one. You know, acting, uh, 
subpar, but you know that's that's to be expected. Uh, you know, acting was not that great, but I wouldn't say it was so bad it took you out of the film. Um, yeah, I, I'd definitely say check this one out, guys. If it sounds like something you'd like, I was I was uh, really surprised that I liked it as much as I did, and uh, you know, hour thirty five minutes, not a waste of your time at all. So anyway, sounds like something you might like. Check it out, and if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.